Tracy Ferguson with Live Sprightly Stretching. This is a full body stretching program that's gonna help you be more flexible and to be stronger and leaner. So we're gonna start with a warm up. So you always wanna start warming up your body to get ready for the deep stretches. And we're just gonna move side to side again. And this time we're gonna just pretend we have water on our fingertips. So we're just gonna throw the water side to side. And then we're gonna just have one arm that you're gonna move side to side. You're gonna reach. Relax, reach, relax. Just keep moving that arm side to side, throwing that water up and release. So we, the purpose is to get really loose and then go to the other side and keep breathing. Keep your abs tight the whole time. You always want to have your abs in when you're doing things. So everything else is nice and loose. Okay, we're going to throw water to the front. Just throw. Arms. And we're gonna just do one arm, go and throw. So kind of like that, <laughs> a little bit, and just move the arm side to side, and then the other arm, and then we're gonna get the spine here in a second. So we're just gonna kind of like tennis, sloppy tennis, maybe. Here's more like just turn and just get that spine. So we want to lift up the foot and just release. Move side to side and relax. Let that arm just flow. All right, and then switch arm. Just open up the chest. Ready? And do some nice stretches. Just pull up. And now we're going to lift up the knee. So pull it up. Tap, tap. We're going to work on some balance and flexibility here in a minute, so just keep tapping, tapping, tapping. All right, then we're going to reach up, and we're going to get the spine again, so up, side, and twist, twist, twist. All right, and now we're going to kick out leg in. So kick, kick, and this way. Right, so that gets the legs lined up, and the spine, the arms, everything's right. Okay, and more, just switch. Up, side to side. Okay. All right, so now we're going to work on strengthening our arms. So you're going to have your feet, um, we're going to spread those out a little more than hip width apart. So don't be afraid to spread out. And you're going to go side to side with those. Watch the knees over the toes. Okay, so just going to move. Gonna lift up your shoulders and relax. Shoulders and relax. We're off a very tight. Our neck. So this is a way to loosen up the shoulder area. So now we're going to reach those arms up. So lift and then pull out. So this time keep the shoulders down. We don't want to keep lifting the shoulders up. We want to keep them down. We want to keep your elbows straight. So check and see if your elbows are straight. And then you're going to press like you have an invisible force. Like you're pressing something into the floor. It's going to feel icky, okay? But that's actually going to strengthen your arms going to help tighten them up underneath. So a lot of people say they have these bat wings and it helps to get rid of those. Okay, so you're going to bring those arms back. Keep moving side to side. This is an aerobic program. It's going to get your heart going. So now we're pulling them back. But you're keeping your shoulders still as you pull back. Again, it shouldn't feel good. It shouldn't be easy. We're not relaxed. It's pulling out, away. Okay, pulling from your core, away. Okay, good. All right, so just relax. Give you a chance to loosen those up. And then we're going to open up for the chest. You're going to pull and pull back. So open up like a pull an elastic and then pull those arms back. So don't use momentum. You want to really try to stretch through there. That's going to really open up your posture, help you stand nice and tall. Nobody wants to be leaning over. And gravity pulls us down as we age and we want to be able to stay up nice and tall. Okay, so pull back. Now we're gonna do a little diagonal. So you're gonna pull up and down at the same time. So just up. Okay, and you're gonna feel that through your shoulder as you're pulling that back. So if you have pain, a sharp pain, just go to right before you felt the pain because that's gonna actually help you get rid of pain if you take time to do that. We're gonna go to the other side, open up. Pull that arm up and back. So open, pull back. We're 
gonna do four of those, pull back. Take your time, pull. One more, and pull, and just relax. All right, we're gonna do a, like something we call bow and arrow. You're gonna press, and then push the other arm, and you're gonna grab like you're grabbing an arrow, reach further, and then pull it back behind you. Open up your posture, and pull that arm back a little faster. One, two, and three. Again, we're watching the knees. Make sure they don't go past the toes. And here we go. Reach, pull, and open. And pull. And one more. Pull. And back. Okay, we're going to start in a little, little plie where your knees are turned out. Your feet are flat on the floor. Down. You want to tuck your tailbone under. And you're going to reach around like you're wiping a wide table. Really pull and lift yourself up. That's going to help with your lower back. So you're gonna reach around and pull up. We're gonna do two more, each side. Reach around, and up, and then do it again. Reach around, and up. Okay, so again, that's gonna help with flexibility. All right, and so now we're gonna do something we call a windmill. So we're gonna get into the calf and the hamstrings and the arms again. So you're gonna reach your arms out. Good breath, bring the arms in front out and then you want to try to pull that back arm back and really have a big twist on your spine and then pull the arm that's closest to me it's not sideways diagonal it's in front so you're going to pull it and you're going to press down like you're putting pushing something heavy into the floor i like to pretend i'm going through water so you're going to bring up up and then relax and then pull two directions up to the ceiling to the floor this is really going to work posture so pull down here we go press Press, press, relax and pull, reach, pull, feel good, and then up to the ceiling. Again, you're wiping that ceiling, pulling up as all as you can, and reach, and press, down, down. Now we're gonna reverse it. So you're gonna reach up to the ceiling here, relax and pull in two directions. You're gonna be amazed at how great you feel when you do this, and how tall you're gonna be able to stand. So pull, Reach, keep that knee back. Sometimes it wants to come forward as you do this. So reach up and then reach that arm again and pull. Try not to lean back, pull and lift. Now we're gonna do some windmills to the sides. Your feet are out. You're gonna turn them, pivot them on your heels. The same arm that's closest to the screen, you're gonna reach up. Keep your abs tight, your butts down, and you're reaching and then come on up. And then you're gonna come to the center, pull in two directions, come over, abs tight, and it's gonna work the calf as you push that foot into the floor and reach. Reach and keep switching those arms as you come around. It's good for your brain too, <laughs> neuromuscular. So reach, pull, and then come up, keep taking some deep breaths, reaching up, relax and pull. To the same side, other side. Same thing, reach, reach. Now stay here, grow tall. You're gonna reach again, switch, but this time you're gonna open up and pull in two directions. It's gonna feel good for your neck, so pull, and then reach that back arm up, and then reach, reach, and then release. And again, I still have my arms nice and tight, pulling away, so it's not loose, it's pulling out. And reach, and then bring that arm in, so it's gonna strengthen those arm muscles. And now you're gonna bring those elbows together, tuck your tailbone under, and you're gonna sway. So have your elbows as high as you can without actually touching your head with your hands. But lift them up. And we're gonna sway side to side, and then we're gonna open up and do a little bit of Tai Chi here. We're gonna pull across, kind of like that. So you're gonna come across, open up your rib cage, pull, and come around. It again, open and pull. Try to lift that elbow up. All right, we're gonna start again on the same side. So we're gonna work this leg back here and the arm in front. So reach and then pull up. Those shoulders pull apart. Two directions. Reach. Lift up. We're nice and tall. Reach for the ceiling. Breathe. Release. And then come back up. One more. And really have pretend someone's pulling your arms in two directions. And then pull that back arm in front. 
Bring those legs back to the middle, parallel. You're gonna reach up, your elbows up, tuck under, and you're gonna lift those elbows as high as you can. That's really great for the lower back and the upper shoulders, upper back, okay? And then we're gonna come over and we're gonna rebalance the body with these washes. So we're gonna pull across. You're going across the sticky mirror with your hands across. And across. And we're gonna reach down, picking up a feather off the floor. You're gonna scoop it up and pull it behind you. Release. Again, so this is flexibility and help you be able to do everyday movements. So you're gonna reach. Reach like you're going further, like you're trying to pull like a ribbon across. Open up. Do it again. Take some deep breaths. Reach, pull, and then open up. Okay, we're gonna reach up to the ceiling. Reach like you're reaching for a balloon, and then pull it down. And then reach up to the ceiling and pull down. Okay, good. And then a little bit of balance. We're gonna keep our feet. Um, a couple inches apart, so put them together. And then you're gonna try to come up on the balls of your feet, the toes. So if you need a chair, um, you can start with a chair. Um, and then you want to try to keep from doing chairs, using chairs later. So you're gonna come up, up. And so if you can, try to release the chair and come down. Okay, so you're gonna bend. So bend your knees, and like you're stretching your your shins, it feels like you're stretching your shins, we're gonna get our calves. So push down as hard as you can to the floor, tightening up, and then release the tension. And then you wanna tighten everything else up, your whole legs, and you're gonna come up. On the balls of your feet, make sure your toes are relaxed. And then you're gonna come up. Try to keep the ankles from wobbling, hold it there. Again, if you need to touch a wall or a chair, you can, but balance reflexes are important to practice and to keep using without holding on tightly for dear life. So, because uh, if you don't use it, you lose it. And you want to be able to keep that balance there. A lot of people have, don't realize how much they struggle with balance as they age. Okay, so we're gonna take one foot back and we're gonna stretch that calf. So you're gonna keep your leg nice and straight back there. So keep your knees straight. And you're gonna push that hip into the floor as you push the foot into the floor. And then you're gonna get the other part of your calf, the smaller part. So you're gonna bend the knee and you're gonna press down as hard as you can into the floor. So push down as hard as you can and then release. Okay, you're gonna bring it in front. You can still hold onto the chair if you need to. Bring the toe in front. You're gonna point, but get to the shin. You're gonna flex for the calf, put it down. You're gonna stretch through here. You're gonna push your hips back, shoulders are back. And you wanna twist in the hip socket. So it's gonna really help um, with mobility by getting deep into your hips. Side to side, okay? And then that's gonna get the IT band. You're gonna put the foot down, abs in, and up. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just get a couple of calf stretches in the other foot. So you want to, in the other leg, you wanna keep the up, push. And again, the knee is straight. So you wanna push that knee the ankle into the floor and then bend the knee and press down. Get the ankle pushing down into the floor, the heel, and then again you're gonna straighten. Now come back up again. You need to catch your balance you can. Point your toe, bring it in front, flex, bring it down, cut here at the waist, shoulders back, and again side to side. Baby toe down and big toe. IT right here, it helps with knee pain. Down and lift up. And then the last thing we're gonna do is a little bit of inner thigh. So you're gonna have your uh, knee in line with your ankle. And we're gonna stretch through here. So you're gonna lift up your foot here, turn it out, put it back down, and then totally stretch. Move around a little bit, through there. And then off we go, switch. So turn that one out, swing out. Stretch, push like you're pushing an arrow into your foot. Right there, okay, and move around. Okay, good. And thank you for joining today. I hope you feel more flexible and ready to do all the fun things you enjoy doing today.